during the day, he was well known in the uh, Southport and Wilmington area. Uh, there, in the book, I talk about Mr. S Sam Bissett, who was uh, an entrepreneur, banker, and an artist himself, and an art collector. And he tried his best to help art, bought paintings, and uh, displayed them in People's Federal Savings Bank in downtown Wilmington. Now it's they merged with First Citizens. Those paintings are still there. And that's another place you can go in a public and see some beautiful paintings. One of them is in the lobby. It's the picture of downtown Wilmington in the 1800s. And then some in the back offices, beautiful picture of Orton Plantation and one of downtown Wilmington. So those, are, but he was well respected in that day. He, had he lived, uh, the writer from Wilmington Star News said, had he lived, uh, Brunswick County, when he died, was still had still not started to grow. But after shortly after he died, that's when the influx of people came. And Ben Steelman said that had he lived, he might have been as well known as Timberlake, because so many people moved in later that would have taken advantage of his pain. And you know, when I was growing up there, when art was there, it was a poor area. Uh, very, not many people. One of the things besides the sign-up sheets that I could find paintings where I could have to think about the families that lived there in that time who could actually afford a painting because not everybody could. And so that, that was the other thing. He was actually up against almost insurmountable odds. He would do anything to sell paintings. He would go, he had shows. He would put, he, he would put his paintings on a fence downtown Southport on a tree and do anything to sell paintings. Go and find out, call people and ask them if they would like to, to buy one of his paintings. And so all of that was, he worked very hard to accomplish it. And there's no shame in his failure because what he left behind speaks, speaks for itself.